Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make a very classic German cake known as an Erdbeerboden. So Erdbeerboden basically means strawberry floor. Um, it's a flan cake um, that is then topped with loads of strawberries and finished with like a fruity glaze. Um, very popular around this time of year in the summer in Germany. Um, so yeah, today I'm going to show you how to make it. The, uh, this Erdbeerboden is made in a tin that looks like this, so it's 26 centimeters in diameter and it has like an elevated base. I don't know if you can see properly, but there's like a little rim around the sides and that's quite important that your final cake, I can see it better like this, that the final cake has a rim because that means when you put the strawberries on top, they don't all fall off the sides. So yeah, you'll need a tin like this and then just grease it with some melted butter and dust some flour on it so that you won't have any problems getting your cake out later once it's baked. So yeah, that's prepared. Got my ingredients ready. I'll run through the ingredients with you and then we can make the cake. Right, to make this cake, you will need 125 grams of soft butter at room temperature three eggs, 100 grams of caster sugar, and some vanilla sugar, um, two tablespoons of milk, 200 grams of flour, a pinch of salt, and a teaspoon of baking powder. So I'm just gonna move all of this to one side for now. I'm gonna mix my vanilla sugar. So the first thing you want to do before adding the sugar is beat the butter for about one or two, maybe even three minutes, just until it's really, really pale, light and fluffy. Once you've done that, you can then add in your caster sugar and once again beat that for a good couple of minutes until the mixture is really really light in colour and um, fluffy. This is the stage at which you get air into this um, batter so it's a very important step to make sure you cream the butter and the sugar for long enough. And here at the end you can really really see how lovely and pale in colour um, the mixture is compared to at the beginning. Next to go in are the eggs. Now with the eggs you have to be very careful that you add them slowly, one egg at a time, uh, beating for about 30 seconds to a minute between each addition, just to make sure the mixture doesn't curdle and the eggs are really well incorporated. You might find it helps to, with the last bit of egg, add a tablespoon of flour as well, and um, that will just help uh, prevent any curdling. And then finally you can add in your dry ingredients and milk. Um, add about half of them in first, give them a quick mix and then add the other half. You're really just wanting to mix until just combined. Do not overbeat or over mix the mix at this stage um, because you don't want to knock out all the air that you've just worked so hard to get in. Then just scrape around the edges of your bowl um, and then you can already fill your batter into the tin. So just pour it all out, make sure to get every last bit and then evenly spread the mixture into your tin and just level the surface. Once that's done, the cake's ready for the oven, so it goes in at 180 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. Once you think the cake's ready, you can get it out of the oven, and just to test it's baked, you can see if a skewer inserted comes out clean, and if it's nice and springy to the touch. 
Then just leave the cake to cool in the tin for about 10 minutes before turning it out. Because this cake is very delicate, I turn it out onto a dish towel on top of the um, cooling rack because I don't want it to just sink through the rack. And yeah, turn it out, make sure you pat the top almost like a sandcastle to make sure the cake comes out in one piece and then just wrap it in your dish towel and leave to cool completely which will take about half an hour to an hour. In the meantime you can prepare the topping for your cake. So you obviously need strawberries but then you'll also need half a tablespoon each of corn flour and icing sugar and also this thing called tortengos. Now this is a German baking ingredient and if you cannot get it where you are then I do have an alternative um, way of making the glaze and um, there's a recipe for that on my blog. I'll leave a link in the description below so make sure you go check that out. First of all though you need to prepare your strawberries so make sure that you've washed them and dried them and then you can cut off the green stalks and cut the strawberries in half. Now you're wanting to find strawberries that are roughly equal in size and um, yeah just cut them down the middle. Once your sponge has then cooled completely you can carefully transfer it onto your serving plate. Just before you put the strawberries on top and um, that's where your corn flour and um, icing sugar mix comes in. It's basically just distributed over the top of the cake and that will absorb any liquid from the strawberries and um, prevent you from having a soggy bottom because uh, we, we wouldn't want that would we? Now comes the funnest part which is topping the cake with strawberries. So with the, out, with the cut side facing outwards um, just start arranging the strawberries in like a circular motion working your way in and once you've done that you can cut up some of the remaining strawberries into sm slightly smaller pieces and use them to fill any gaps that there might be. And then the last thing you want to do is make the glaze for the top that will just prevent the strawberries from going, like falling off the cake. Um, as I said, I'm just using the packet Tortengos to do this, but um, there is a recipe on my blog for how to do it without the packet. So according to the packet, all you need to do is add the Tortengos powder, some sugar, water to a pot, bring it to the boil and you're good to go. Once the Tortengos mixture has come to the boil, take it off the heat and leave it to cool for just a minute or so and then you can spoon it over the cake. Here it's better to start um, from the inside. I know I didn't really do that, but yeah, it's better to start from the inside and work your way out. That means that any additional juice will just run out towards the sides of the cake, but not spill over the sides, hopefully. But any sort of spillages you do have, you can just wipe up in the end. And then once you have completely covered the cake in your glaze or jelly glaze, um, you just have to leave it to cool. So it'll take about an hour to set at room temperature and you can put it in the fridge to speed things up a little bit. the um, cake in the fridge just for the jelly to set. This is what it looks like. Pretty nice. I've just cut into it because now it's time for the best part which is the tasting. Um, I also have here some whipped cream and um, there's a recipe for that on my blog so go check that out um, because 
a lot of these kind of German cakes, they tend to be a little bit on the dry side and then you always have like a big dollop of cream with it, so I mean I'm not complaining. <laughs> but yeah, so this is what it looks like. I love the piece of cake, you can see um, the cake at the bottom and the strawberries on top and the fact that we put that cornstarch and uh, icing sugar there means that you, know, you, can't, you can see it's not gone too soggy. So yeah, let's give it a try. Ooh, make sure I get some cream as well. <laughs> Mm. It just reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> mm, it's so good. It's also nice because it's not too sweet. The cake itself is not too sweet. There's a little bit of sweetness in it from the cream. So all in all, it balances itself out really, really nicely. And oh, yeah, I love this cake. Very good. Right. As always, the recipe will be on my blog, so I'll leave a link to that below. Um, hope you enjoyed. Uh, this new baking video let me know if there's anything that you want me to try and uh, maybe something I've never made before or something another like typical German cake that I might um, uh, have know how to make so yeah that's the end of this baking video let me know if you liked it and um, let me know if there's any other sort of videos you want to see and uh, yeah please like this video subscribe to my channel and check out my blog right I'll see you next time bye I'm gonna eat my cake now.